Hi, I'm Chad Hutchings, and this is how to use the Vortex Wireless 2 in GarageBand on iPad. Now, to connect the Vortex Wireless 2 to your iPad, you're going to need a adapter cable. Now, my iPad is a 10th generation, so that's a USB-C. If you've got an older one, it's going to be a lightning cable. Um, but here I've got a USB-C to USB-A cable. And if you've got an older machine, you're going to need a lightning to USB-A cable. And then you're going to connect the dongle from the Vortex Wireless 2. This is the wireless dongle and put it into the USB-A port. of the adapter cable and then put the other end into your iPad. Then you can click on, then tap on garage band on your iPad. And then from the main screen, you can press on the plus icon and then add an instrument. And here I'm going to add the Alchemy synth. And if you want to change the sound, you can go up to the top of the screen where it's got the name of the sound. Click on that. Here I'm going to click on leads. 18, 18s. 80s synth lead, then click on done. And then you can move this, press here and you can move this section here so you can change the sound slightly. Now at this point, you can then turn on your Vortex Wireless 2. And if you play the keys now, you will play the instrument that's on the iPad. Now GarageBand doesn't support MIDI, so there are a few things that aren't going to work with the Vortex, and that is the faders, because they're CC controlled, and GarageBand doesn't support CC controls, they're not going to do anything. But there are a few things here that are going to do something. So apart from the keys themselves, that will work automatically, <coughs> The pitch control will work. And if you've got the standard preset set up on the Vortex, then the touch ribbon with one pressed, button one pressed, so that's touch ribbon one, will activate modulation. Other things that will also work, the sustain button will work. And the fader on the neck of the Vortex, which is the volume fader, will also control the volume in GarageBand. Now, if you go back to the track view, you won't get any sound out of the Vortex because the only time you can get sound is when you've actually got an, inst an instrument open on the screen. And the Vortex also will not change instruments. So if you want to change instrument, you're going to have to do it manually. And that's the basic simple process of getting the Vortex Wireless 2 to work with GarageBand. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.